What's up, everyone? Welcome to the special holiday edition of Take 5. My name is Stephanie Wong, customer engineer here at Google, and today we have... Jonathan Jam, customer engineer. Happy holidays. So, Jonathan, what happened to your ugly sweater? Oh, I, t I changed it, but I was a little embarrassed. But maybe, you know, I'll, I'll sneak it in later in the show. All right, stay tuned. What are you going to be talking about today? We are talking about ML APIs. So we recently had a user, actually a, a viewer of ours on the online meetup ask, hey, can you give us a quick overview of all the different ML APIs? And I was like, challenge accepted. All right, challenge accepted. Let's see if you can do it in five yeah, minutes. It's a challenge, but we'll, we'll, we'll get through it. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's start. OK, let's get started. So at a very high level, this is our portfolio. We have Cloud Machine Learning Engine, which is our hosted TensorFlow environment and zero infrastructure involved. Just ship the code and run it. Cloud Job Discovery is our uh, machine learning platform for uh, jobs. And for jobs, right now, one of the biggest challenges in the industry is providing more relevant results for job seekers. And we help to improve that with our Job Discovery uh, ML API. Dialog Enterprise Edition is our chatbot uh, platform, which we'll go into later. Cloud Natural Language is the ability to detect the context around um, unstructured uh, text. Cloud Speech API is transcription, taking um, speech to text. Translation, self-explanatory, one language to the other. Cloud Vision is object detection, uh, giving you labels and properties about the image. And Video Intelligence API will g provide context about what's in the video. So let's just jump right into it. First one is Dialogflow. It's our chatbot platform. And right now, chatbots are the hype. Everyone wants to do a chatbot because, number one, it improves customer experience. Right? People want to talk to the company as quickly as possible. And they want good, 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 good service from their customers or from their from the company. And number two, it improves your employee productivity. If you think about uh, what your employees are doing, they don't want to be managing and talking and answering the same questions over and over. So that's where chatbots come in. Now, the great thing about Dialogflow is that you don't need to understand machine learning. You just send us. Uh, you just provide a lot of data about what the intents are. Intents are pretty much what are the common questions that customers are really asking for. So here we have intents, and we won't actually go through all of these, but one example that we can show you is that you know, with banking, uh, you can say hello, you talk to chatbot, you ask about what's in your savings account, what's in your checking account, and you can automate this entire process. So that's dialog flow. Second one is our natural language API. Now, if you want to build your own chatbot, maybe a very cu uh, custom specific needs, this is a natural language API. You can see that when we do that. When we analyze it, well, this is already here. But uh, entities, we are GCP Live Team is an organization, which is great. We're legitimized. NLP has legitimized us. Yes. yes, it's official. We're real. We're not fake. And event holidays, it gives you a bunch of things about the sentiment, syntax, categories. But uh, we have a customer. Actually, I have a customer that's using sentiment analysis to do supply and demand forecasting, which is really interesting. Next one is our speech to text. Stephanie, you want to say something? Happy New Year. As you can see, it is able to quickly detect uh, what Stephanie had said. And it can detect up to 110 languages through a lot of noise and really used for also used for chat box, but also for transcription services. So we have a customer who is you know, working in the TV industry. They, wanna, they want someone to be able to talk to the remote. And the remote will translate that into text. And that text will obviously be analyzed and automated on the back end to do something really interesting. Next one is. Translation. All right. So translation, pretty self-explanatory. We've all been in a situation where we didn't understand the language. And without even doing a demo, everyone knows what that is. We support over 100, you know, hundreds of languages. And in this case, I have a really interesting example where a customer is using this to uh, build like a forum or a, chat, or, or a chat room where people can collaborate across geographies and across languages so that everything gets ultimately translated into English and helps with collaboration. Next one. Vision API, one of my favorites, and something that we're really good at. What do you think this is, Stephanie? It looks to me like a hamburger dog. Hamburger dog, that's a good one. Unfortunately, hamburger dog is not. I don't. We'll have to look it up in the dictionary later. But I don't think it's a real thing. Google does its best to see what it is. Fast food sandwich, food. All right. I mean, I think these are pretty pretty close to what it is. Uh, provides kind of where it is in the web results, different properties. I have a customer doing this for interior decoration. It takes the color scheme of the image provided, and it'll make recommendations on different furniture based on the color scheme. Term safe search, is it adult, is there violence, and provides a JSON output for automation. So this is great, right? But what if, let's say, I wanted to know whether this is a hot dog or not? Like, uh, you know, I, I strongly believe it should be a binary thing. And so what I did was I created a uh, hot dog, no hot dog, cloud ML model. Um, 
being run on Cloud ML, and Cloud ML, like I mentioned, is a hosted TensorFlow environment. And with this, I built my own model, trained it on hundreds of images or thousands of images, and now with this, it says that an 87% chance that it's a hot dog, and I would agree with that. All right, next is our Video Intelligence API, and Video Intelligence API allows you to search through video and provides context around it. Now, you can see in this video, it's actually um, basically providing context about what's in this image or what's in this video uh, as the different shots appear. So really easy to understand, but it's actually very difficult to implement. But the good news is we take care of all that difficulty, and it'll tell you explicit content and provides an API to access it. All right, I think that is it. That was a lot. Uh, I'm very tired. Yeah, I'm proud of you. I think you only went over by like 10, 15 seconds. Yes. But okay. let's consider All the right. challenge completed. Yes, thank you so much, and happy holidays. Happy holidays, everyone. <laughs>